Welcome to the Mathematics in my channel. Here we have a uh, nice infinite series. Here, theta 2 over 2. We know uh, theta 2, Riemann theta function, Riemann theta of 2, theta of 3 over 3, theta of 4 over 4, theta of 5 over 5. Okay, uh, how to evaluate this infinite series? Uh, to evaluate this series, we have a uh, few methods. In this video, uh, I am going to use, uh, I am going to begin with Weierstrass definition of the gamma function. So we know gamma of c is equal to e to the minus gamma times c. Here gamma we know Euler's Mascheroni constant over c. Then uh, product infinite product n is equal one to infinity one over one plus c over n times e to the c over n okay then uh, here we have c so i am going to multiply uh, by c both sides so here we have c times gamma of c is equal to e to the minus gamma of c infinite product 1 to infinity uh, e to the c over n over 1 plus c over n then we know c times gamma of c is equal to gamma of c plus 1 so we can write gamma of c plus 1 is equal to uh, here e to the minus gamma times c infinite product n is equal 1 to infinity e to the c over n over 1 plus c over n okay then i am um, going to take uh, natural log both side so we have here natural log of natural log of gamma of c plus 1 is equal to now here uh, we know natural log of e to the uh, power so we can write minus gamma times c according to property of natural log then natural log of e we know 1 so we have only minus gamma times c uh, then here we have product so plus then we know uh, if we take natural log uh, product will be convert to uh, sum so we can write this infinite product as a infinite sum so n is equal 1 to infinity uh, now here uh, natural log of e to e times uh, e to the c over n so we can write c over n times natural log of e we know 1 uh, then here uh, division so minus natural log of natural log of 1 plus c over n natural log of 1 plus c over n okay then uh, i am going to uh, divide by c and this equation i'm going to divide by c so here we have natural log of gamma of c plus 1 over c is equal to here minus gamma or as mascarone constant plus here n is equal 1 to infinity uh, now we know c get cancelled so 1 over n minus then here 1 over c natural log of 1 plus c over n okay then um, what can we do okay uh, as a next step uh, i'm going to write here natural log of gamma of uh, c plus 1 over c then this minus gamma i'm going to take this side so plus gamma is equal to now uh, this series this infinite series we can split uh, into two different sums so we can write n is equal 1 to infinity 1 over n then uh, here minus now uh, here we have um, 1 over c times natural log of 1 plus c over n then i'm going to use uh, the Taylor series of natural log of 1 plus c over n so uh, we know the Taylor series of natural log of 1 plus x is equal to 
infinite sum k is equal 1 to infinity minus 1 to the k minus 1 x to the k over here k okay then uh, here we need to 1 plus c over n so uh, we can plug in here 1 plus c over n so we have uh, here k is equal 1 to infinity minus 1 to the k minus 1 here c to the k power over k uh, now here sorry here c to the k over k it's okay but here we have 1 over n so n to the k so n raised to the k times k therefore we can write here now um, infinite sum n is equal 1 to infinity k is equal 1 to infinity minus 1 to the k minus 1 and here now c to the k but here we have 1 over c so we can simplify c to the k minus 1 over k times n raised to the k okay uh, then we can write here natural log of natural log of gamma of c plus 1 over c plus gamma uh, is equal to here we have infinite sum 1 to infinity 1 over n minus now uh, we know the definition of Riemann theta function the def sorry we know the definition of Riemann theta function uh, theta of s is equal to sum of n is equal 1 to infinity 1 over n raised to the s therefore uh, we can write here now uh, infinite sum k is equal 1 to infinity minus 1 to the k minus 1 over k minus 1 to the k minus 1 k now here we have uh, c to the k minus 1 over n raised to the k so here uh, c to the k minus 1 now uh, we know k is equal sorry n is equal 1 to infinity 1 over n raised to the k is equal to theta of k theta of k okay then uh, i'm going to plug in 1 for c so when c is equal to 1 here uh, natural log gamma of 2 gamma of 2 we know 1 natural log of 1 we know 0 so 0 1 we know 0 and here we have gamma is equal to now here uh, we know if we plug in 1 for this Riemann theta function we know uh, theta of 1 is equal to n is equal 1 to infinity 1 over n therefore you know this is equal to theta of 1 theta of 1 and uh, here we have minus sum of k is equal 1 to infinity minus 1 to the k minus 1 now c is equal 1 so this is you know 1 over here k and here theta of k okay then um, we can write uh, gamma is equal to theta of 1 minus now if we plug in 1 here we know 1 minus 1 0 0 power minus 1 to the 0 power we know 1 and here also 1 so we have theta of 1 so here theta of 1 then if we plug in 2 now we know the first term is theta 1 then if we plug in uh, 2 here 2 minus 1 so here minus now here 2 here theta of 2 so we have uh, theta of 2 over 2 then we know then theta of 3 over 3 minus theta of 4 over 4 plus so on okay then we know this part uh, get cancelled and Euler's mass constant 
is equal to minus minus plus so theta 2 of 2 minus theta 3 of 3 plus uh, theta 4 over 4 minus theta 5 over 5 plus so on okay now we know this uh, infinite series represent uh, beautiful constant Euler's Mascheroni constant.